What's up, everyone? If y'all are wondering what the GTA content is, trust me, I have GTA content coming real soon to my channel. I did test glitches this morning prior to recording this. This, um, glitches are still working. Glitches do get patched in GTA on Thursdays. Not all glitches do. Um, so, glitches are still working as of right now glitches are still working but um could get patched tomorrow on thursday but i'm making this video and posting it on wednesday so just bear with me on that but i'm not going to be uploading and making a gta video unless a glitch gets patched or a new glitch gets found uh between uh now and the Christmas DLC comes out and from what I'm seeing a lot of reports is the Christmas DLC will come out on Tuesday December 13th 2022 but don't quote me because I'm just looking at all the different uh, blog posts um, that are out there um, nothing I really have seen was set in stone by Rockstar Games on that now, for this video here, y'all did see my video uh, review on Police Simulator. Or, um, on Police Simulator. Uh, that game is a pretty decent game. Good game. Um, like I said, I did a full review on it. And I will link that video in the description as well. This game is made by the same game company as Police Simulator. This was a PC game, but because how popular Police Simulator was uh, on Xbox and PlayStation, they brought this game to Xbox and PlayStation as well. And in, from what I gather, it is crossplay. Don't quote me, but I do gather. But it is Fire Fire Simulator. It goes for twenty nine dollars and ninety nine cents plus tax in the U S. Um, by region could be different different currencies uh, plus tax you gotta keep that in mind too in the US we do pay, pay tax I don't know about other countries I will not comment on other countries but I'm going to get off the home screen here and we're going to dive right on in now where police simulator you do have shifts where you in fight of fire simulator you don't have shifts you have missions and as you progress in the game and you do more missions and you get XP and you level up you unlock more trucks you uh, unlock more missions to do and as the more you build up in the game you do unlock more missions that have more XP level it's where you can get a lot of stuff um, right now as you see I am a level 22 in the game um, so I kind of got quite a bit unlocked, not much, still working on it, um, but I think I got enough game time played to where I can feel like I can make a great positive review for y'all and let y'all determine if y'all um, should get the game or not. But uh, like I said, I don't know what's the max level you can get in this game maybe someone that plays on PC can comment below and let me know um, but uh, in police simulator max level you can get is 30 in the game uh, after 30 there's nothing really more you can do in police simulator police simulator there is 25 Xbox achievements for you to unlock where this game has 30 now, I don't know if PlayStation does have achievements or how they work their system. Um, PC, I don't know if they have achievements either. But if somebody would like to comment below and let me know, that would be great. Now, you can do this multiplayer game. But the thing is, multiplayer, if you're not careful, you can get random people in your game. Up to three people can join. Unfortunately, a, like a, we'll tell you this with Police Simulator, you can't invite your friend over to your house or wherever you do your gaming at, and you can hop on the same console and play the game. He has to be on his own console, and he has to own the game, have his own account, you know. So that's the downside. So I'm just gonna click on a 
mission here, a random one. And there's three different ways you can do it. You can do a single player where you're in control of the AIs. Um, you can do where you can public, where you can invite people off your friends list or whoever plays the game, they can just join off your profile. Anyone can play. Um, then you have like a friends only. Friends only means it's private. There ain't, no one ain't going to get in unless you invite them. You invite them from a Xbox group post or a um, PlayStation group post or anything like that. Or they're on their friends list. And just to give you a little tease here, these are the different trucks that you can unlock. The top left one in the corner, the TP3, is your default truck. That's the one you get when you first start playing the game. Now, they do have a crash course uh, you can dive right into and you can play over and over again. But it's really good if you go right into that one and you uh, play it so you can learn the game. And you learn how to use the tools and the functionalities of the game. Now, I'm not going to speak the whole time during this uh, like a devil play somewhere. I'm going to um, record game review for gameplay for y'all so y'all can see it um so i'm hoping with what i have told you and i gave you known enough information to where y'all can pick up if y'all think this is a good game for you or not you gotta know a couple of things are you into simulator games are you into fire you know, i mean if you don't enjoy firefighters if you don't want to be a firefighter then this is probably isn't the game for you. If you're not into games like simulator games, this is not for you. So you gotta think before is it worth paying that money? You know what I mean? Maybe one day a um this game could probably go on Game Pass. I'm not really sure. I don't know if they have any intentions to put it on Game Pass. Maybe. Um but it's very unique um for people to check out but it's up to y'all but uh i'm gonna pick out a mission here that gives us a lot of xp a for us to do Ooh. and has different types of fires so i'm just gonna go ahead and meet my mic once my friends get in here and i'm uh get them in here And then once they join, I'm going to show you my main. So if you look at the little boxes below, where it says Jack, AI, um, Tom, AI, well, that will change when they join. So once they get in here, you'll see their names. I like to give them credit for being part of this. As you see, it does pop up and tells you when someone is joining. So we got one person's in. Now also I do run a GTA and Minecraft Discord server. Don't forget guys, I do have the links to those in the, in the description of my videos at all times. So we're just going to wait for the last person to join here. So I just want to give a shout out to these guys for being part of this. And I'm going to go ahead and mute my mic and get some gameplay for y'all. So give me one second y'all and I'll be right back to the game here here for y'all. But I, will, I have no outro so I will catch y'all in the next video. Peace out and I hope y'all enjoy this.
Yes, Commander. On a 360 check, there are locked doors to both the office and the door leading into the warehouse area.
Command, we've got electrical fires being relit by sparks. Find a fuse box and cut the power. Victims in there.
Don't forget, we've got victims in there. 